we have moved to playing online via webcam. And that means that you could join the fun, find out how in the description, and you might find yourself featured on the channel. Welcome to Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering from ELD's Time Vault Games in Bellingham, Mass. On a somewhat historic video here, this is actually the final game of Legacy that I have, at least on this hard drive, uh, filmed in the shop before the shutdown. So we've got some Pioneer, Modern, Vintage, Old School, some other matches that I'll be covering. Uh, but moving forward for Legacy, we're actually going to be taking games from our Discord matches that we're playing live over Discord every Wednesday and Friday. You can actually join in those, potentially find yourself featured on the channel as well. We are still working out the details on those, but tomorrow's video uh, should be a Discord video. Once upon a time here for Thomas searching for a combo piece. Uh, no, actually just finding a Verdant Catacomb, so just some mana. And now he fetches... Grabbing a basic swamp, though to be fair, with Grixis Delver, you're going to be very happy if they're using their wastelands on your mana base. Uh, in general, they want to save those wastelands to stop the combo. Those wastelands probably the best tool against Turbo Depths. We see here a Brazen Borrower, Brainstorm, Two Bolts, and a Dreadhorde Arcanist. Interesting decision. Let me know what you would take. This Dreadhorde Arcanist... Threatens to be a very real clock. Also generates some card advantage. Combined with Lightning Bolt, he can really get a player out of there pretty quickly. On the other hand, Brazen Borrower, a card that can bounce the Merit Lage, which may be Thomas's only path to victory here. Key difference being you can find some more discard for that Brazen Borrower. You're not going to be able to find any way of dealing. Oh no, he's got main deck Abrupt Decays. Alright, so this is going to be some type of slower turbo depths. That decision making a lot more sense now. Brainstorm from Jacob. Just as I was saying, turbo depths doesn't really have any way of dealing with creatures like that main deck. He's got a Abrupt Decay. We'll see what else he has, if this is going to be more of a slow depths variant. I haven't seen Dark Confidant. That is also a card that people sometimes play in slow depths. And Young Pyromancer, so there's a threat removed, but another threat replaces it. And another thought sees Brazen Borrower is taken. And now it's a pair of lightning bolts left for Jacob. He'll be able to go face with this and create a token. He swings for two. And we're looking at two turns here. A basic swamp being made. Providing a little bit of protection from Wasteland for now, but ultimately that Wasteland is going to want to be used on the Thespian stage after it becomes a copy of Dark Depths. That is really the proper way to play against Turbo Depths. You get the two for one and set them back. Two land drops. Very, very difficult for them to recover in that situation. Also more difficult to play around. We've got some delving going on here. For a Gurmag Angler. And three damage comes through. Thomas scoops it up. He was dead. Even without that Gurmag Angler, just the Pyromancer and Lightning Bolt would have been lethal. So Thomas needed an awful lot to get out of there alive. Jacob picking up game number one. Trying to get a look at his sideboard. He got Not of This Worlds. He 
and just seeing if we can learn anything about this build as he rifles through it. Usually I like to skip over sideboarding, especially if it is kind of a consensus list, but that yeah, didn't really look like too much out of the ordinary. The Abrupt Decay getting the axe for game two. And not of this world being considered. I think Wasteland probably is the biggest concern from Delver strategies. Brazen Borrower hurts, but it can be addressed. Wasteland is actually quite difficult to deal with. I think my favorite strategy currently for that is probably running your own Wastelands. I've also seen Stifle as a, a useful a useful tool there. Um, Veil of Summer and Stifle is kind of hilarious uh, when it comes to stopping Storm's Storm Trigger. You're not actually countering the spells and you're not targeting them or permanents that they control. Wow, Thomas actually going to five here. All right, he's made his decision on five. Opens up with Lotus Petal alongside Wasteland. As I said before, probably the best anti-Wasteland measure is your own Wasteland. A Delver of Secrets comes down for Jacob. Oh, and Thomas has to pass, and this may not be a very good game for Thomas. A Brainstorm is likely going to guarantee that this Delver flips as long as Jacob has an instant or sorcery in hand, though it looks like he drew three lands off of that Brainstorm. So things not going as well for Jacob. Oh, and he shuffles it away. All right, got to have something to do here. It's going to be a Duress. Or Thoughtseize. And we see an Abrupt Decay, a Vampire Hex Mage, and a Crop Rotation. Delver just refusing to flip, though not getting any help. Dreadhorde Arcanist. And now another Brainstorm, and this one should likely allow... So he has Force and Blue card. Hopefully he's got another instant or sorcery that can go on top of the library. Passing back. Delver not flipping again. Gurmag Angler being hard cast. And this Grixis Delver deck... Just playing like an odd beatdown. Just 1-1 one, one mages chipping in there, but it's still a two-turn clock now that Gurmag Angler's been added. Delver doesn't even have to flip. We see Crop Rotation, Duress, and Elvish Spirit Guide. i got to imagine Crop Rotation. No, he's going after the mana. All right. There is a basic forest. Is drawn for turn. Jacob is aware of that. And Brainstorm being used off of this Dreadhorde Arcanist. Down to nine. Now a, oh, perhaps that life total wasn't accurate, though he throws in the towel as he uh, has no hope of winning there as Grixis Delver absolutely steamrolls a multi five there, game two, showing all of those sideboard options. And that is it for this one. 
that is all for this one. But don't worry, there is a lot more. Uh, you can check out our older videos, and we're always putting out new videos from ELD's Time Vault Games in Bellingham, Massachusetts. If you want to help the channel, of course, you can like, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell so you can know uh, the next time our new videos come out. Thanks for watching.